here's what I tell people is that there's a couple things you need to understand. If you're going to do sales for a living, it's a mental minefield. It is not wow. physical. It's a mental minefield and it's on you. And, and so that's very different. You have to be willing to accept responsibility for your performance and please don't be the sales rep that makes your boss beg you to understand that your numbers suck. Be the one that understands, as I have in my career, when my numbers were bad, that I was the one coming forward saying, I know that and I'm going to fix it and I have a plan. And here's what the plan is. I didn't just carp about having a problem. Mm-hmm. And so what I tell people is because it's all in your mind, there's a couple things that you, you should do when you decide to be a salesperson. One is decide what it is that you want out of it. And for everybody, that's different. And if it's a car, that's fine. If it's And it will change as it probably has for you, John. As life goes on, your dreams change. They become different. Doesn't mean they're better or worse. They just become different. And so what I tell people is go into your mirror like I did as a young guy and look in that mirror and look yourself in the face and tell yourself what you're going to do. Because unless you're psychotic, you can't do that and look yourself in the face and say, this is what I'm going to do. Now, your brain is going to tell you that you're crazy, but keep telling yourself that and then make that commitment to someone else. And the last thing I tell people to do is we have this wonderful thing called voicemail. People don't use it right. So save yourself a voicemail on your cell phone that only you listen. Don't ever play it for anybody else unless you have a wife like I do who could listen to it and understand it. But play it for yourself in those moments when you want to give up, those moments when you got a bad day and it's going horrible. I'm not telling you to blast this out to the world because they won't understand it. Only you know how to talk to your own mind to get it back in gear. And I've always had these. And it's something that you can always bring back up on your phone in that moment when you want to quit, you're having a bad day, you need encouragement. There's nothing like your own voice mm-hmm. yelling at you, telling you, in my case, to pull it together, get it done, pride. You know what you're doing, get it done, stop whining and crying. And whatever language it takes to get you woke up, use it on that message and keep it. 